Alright you guys, I got a couple of these. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It has been quite a while since I last shot a video, and I feel like I say that in every video that I put out, but I am back and I'm so excited to be showing you guys some things that I've accumulated over the past few months. I hope everyone has been doing really well in these weird times. I know I have my good days and my bad days, but I mean, if anything, it's taught me to be kinder to myself and to, you know, just find small joys and the littlest things, if that makes any sense. Also, I've been getting a lot of your guys' messages um, on Instagram and on YouTube, and it's so awesome that I've been getting, you know, just messages from around the world, and for me to communicate with you guys, like, that is amazing. Like, I got a DM the other day from someone from France, and he was telling me that him and his friends watch me on YouTube, and I'm like, wait, what? Like, you and your friends? Like, there's more of you guys watching my videos? Like, it is absolutely mind-blowing. So, thank you guys for just reaching out, and, you know, if you guys ever need someone to talk to, I'm your guy. Okay, so anyways, back to the video. Over the past few couple of months, um, I've accumulated some clothes, some things from Saint Laurent, Prada, Jacquemus, Givenchy, you name it, I bought it. I mean, when I tell you what I can do in five months, it's <laughs> it's crazy. Okay, so I'm gonna start out with some cool sunglasses that I got. So first pair of sunglasses are these Balenciaga sunglasses. I feel like I've talked about them before in my other video, but um, I did get these, obviously. Um, but they are really cool. They're like a really cool rectangular shape. Um, I don't have, well, I have like my, my Velvet Canyons, but these are the more elevated versions of those. They just look so cool. Yeah, just like rectangular, and they have like the Balenciaga um, logo on the side, but like in gold. And I like how they're just thin shaped. The only downside from wearing these, um, which makes me not like reach out for them, is that when I wear these for too long, they leave like, let me see if like you guys can see, I don't know if you guys can see. They leave like marks on my nose as if, because these sunglasses are so heavy, like dents in my nose. So I don't reach for these as much as I should, but I do like these. It, it just sucks that it leaves marks on my nose. And then my next sunglasses that I got are these Gucci sunglasses and I got these for my birthday. I got these for myself for my birthday and these are really awesome. They, I'm not really into Italian style at the moment so these just remind me of Italy or just like Italian men. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know if I should like say more than that but um, a lot of them probably like rolling their eyes at me like, what the heck are you talking about? No, but they actually, they do remind me of like Italian style. Yeah, I was at the Gucci store in Rodeo when I got these and I was like trying on every pair and I wanted to make sure um, that I was gonna leave the store with something with a pair of sunglasses that I like really love. I love the tortoise shell frame. I love how it's like a brown lens and um, yeah, I reach for these all the time. I love how just it's oversized, so when I just don't feel my best, like I reach for these and I put them on and I feel like it covers my entire face. <laughs> and then my next ones are these Bottega Veneta sunglasses. These, like the Balenciaga ones, I don't actually reach for that much because they have the same problem where they leave like dents and marks on my nose so but I mean regardless they look just so classy and just so expensive I feel like a million dollars when I wear these um, I love the gold frame I love the green lens I think it just looks so classy like but I don't think you can wear these down so when I wear these I would wear it with like a white t-shirt blazer sort of outfit when I wear it down it just doesn't look as 
good, like, if I was to wear an outfit down, like, a very casual outfit, I would most likely wear, like, my Balenciaga ones, um, or my Gucci ones, but more likely my Balenciaga ones. Um, so these are just, I feel like these are more for, um, if you want something more classier. So next thing that I got was this acne scarf. I remember buying this before my flight, um, before I went to LAX. Uh, because it gets so cold on the plane and I needed a scarf and I was just like holding out for a while and then like I'm just gonna go to Acne before I head out. Um, but yeah, so I headed to Acne and I got this gray scarf. I've been eyeing it out for quite a while and it's just a simple scarf that has, I'm pretty sure everyone's seen it before. You can see it all over Instagram. It just has like the Acne Studios, it's like a logo all over it but I don't wear it anywhere else besides the airport. Um, I just usually wear it with like my sweats or something, or if it's like on, cold on the plane, like I'll have it bundled around me, but it's just such a nice warm scarf that's not itchy and looks chic. Okay, next um, are my hats. So I've been really into bucket hats lately. I don't know why, I think it's just because I've just been seeing it all over Instagram, but, I've bit into the trend and I've actually been eyeing out this bucket hat in particular for forever and I finally like sourced it but it's this Prada bucket hat and it's from their fall winter um, 18 collection um, I think it's from fall winter 18 but it's what's one of their older edition hats and I loved just this logo, it's like very sporty, very like race car-ish. God, I mean, my description of everything is impeccable. But yeah, I love bucket hats lately. Let's see like what I look, I look pretty crazy. So I mean, this one is actually, you wear it like this and the Prada hat is supposed to be on the side, but um, I don't like to wear it like this. I like to wear it like this when I'm out in public because that looks so much better. Like, this looks so much better, right? What do you guys think? Like, should I wear it on the side or does it look goofy that the Prada logo's in the front? I don't even remember where I saw this. I think I just saw it, like, in a magazine and I was like, I need that hat. But it's, again, these, for some reason, all the clothes that I've been into lately, they're so hard to source. I cannot find it anywhere. So when I, like, found it, I'm like, I'm gonna buy it. Like, that's it. Like. I put it in my cart and I press, I press buy. But yeah, I love this. It's just like your typical um, Prada nylon cap. Okay, moving on from this hat because I don't know, should I wait, hold on. Should I wear this hat for the rest of the video? No. Okay, next hat that I got, which was also very hard to source, is this Jacquemus Lib Bob, Lib Bob Architect hat. Okay, <laughs> so it's not even, Architect, it's artichou. It's, um, I'm probably even saying that wrong, but it's French for artichoke, and I said architect. You can just slap me right now. All the French people can just like slap me <laughs> all together. Um, I love this one too. I'm very into Jacquemus at the moment. I like have been watching their shows a lot lately, just like on repeat because I'm just so inspired by the simplicity but yet sophistication of the clothes and how it's styled. So I've just been like into the beige, tan, white sort of clothing, which is um, sort of like my New Year's, it goes into my New Year's resolution of like trying to incorporate color into my wardrobe because basically before this year, my wardrobe was just all black colored clothing. Um, but now I've been incorporating some color into my wardrobe. But um, yeah, I've just been really into Jacquemus and I saw this on runway and I had to have it. And um, yeah, it's really cool. And I think it really stands out when um, I wear it. I love the fringe um, brim and the Jacquemus lettering in the front like that and I feel like a cool guy when I wear this. So you know those cool guys that wear like um, the Quicksilver hats? Like what do you call those? Like what do you call those like wide brim hats? 
I feel like one of those cool guys at the beach that wears that, but even cooler because this is a Jacquemus. Should I do my boots last or should I do it now? I think I'll do my, my boots last because it's a little bit more exciting. So like I was saying, I'm really into Jacquemus and their whole tan and beige and white motif that they have going on. Um, so I got this like over shirt from Mango and this one's really cool. Um, it's not that special, but I would like wear it with like my Jacquemus um, bucket hat. Like do you guys see like what's going on? This is gonna be like major when I wear this out. <laughs> but um, yeah, it's not a very special top, but this is something that I would, that I bought to go with my Jacquemus hat. Hold on, I'm getting a call. Okay, so, um, that's that. And then the next thing that I got is this blazer from Valentino. And this one's really cool because it's sort of like an oversized blazer, but not really. Like it's an oversized fit, but it's very tailored to my body. When you buy things like blazers that are like two sizes than your normal size, like the shoulders like really like droop, but these are like literally at my shoulder, but they still have that oversized feel overall. I was wearing this a lot during the January time period when it was a little bit colder and I would um, wear it with like, a white t-shirt or even a hoodie sometimes because it's a little bit oversized and my hoodie can fit in it. But I love this Valentino blazer. It's like cashmere and just it's so comfy. So I love this a lot. I got this sweater from Rude. Holy crap. Like, okay, it smells like my cologne. Um, But this sweater, it's so... It's obviously, it's rude, um, R-H-U-D-E. It's just a very normal sweater. Um, uh, nothing much to say. I thought I love the, I mean, like, I really love the color, but holy crap, was this expensive? Like, I don't know if this is, I don't think I'll ever buy anything from Rude other than this, but, um, it's, it's just a really basic sweater, and I think it costed like 400 or something. I ate this. I ate that. <laughs> I didn't eat this. I'm sorry. That was that did not come out correctly. I was eating while wearing this. I was like having ramen with my sister out in LA, and the ramen is obviously like already oily. But of course, I had to put like um, like that hot sesame oil in it, so like my ramen turned red. I'm an absolute like mess when I eat, apparently. It's splashed on my sweater, you guys. It's splashed on the sweater, and it left, like, oil stains on it, and, like, also, like, red stains. Luckily, I was able to take it out, the magic of vinegar and baking soda, um, but luckily it came out, because then I would have had, like, stains on my $400 sweater. And I was like ready to like give up and be like, it is what it is. It could be way worse, but luckily the stains came out, so it's fine. Um, but yeah, a very overpriced sweater, but I, I do love the color. I got this jacket from Sandro. This is a leather jacket and in this very like milk chocolate brown. I'm so particular with my colors. I did not want to get just like any brown color. Like it had to be a particular brown color. And this color is so decadent and it's so rich. I think it looks, oh my gosh, like I love this. Oh my gosh, like look how cool this looks with my outfit. Oh my gosh, should I just wear this? I'm gonna wear this for the rest of my video. Like it just pairs well, it's so comfortable and I love it. Very pricey. I think it was like $1,100, but um, it's just, I mean, it was made really well. Great material. It has pockets in the inside. Yeah, I love it. I love this aviator jacket so much. And then the final jacket that I got was this D-squared oversized flannel with like a shearling interior. 
This one's also very pricey. Um, I don't even remember how much it costed, but I just know it was like very pricey. So like on certain days in California, it gets a little bit chilly and that's when I would be like grabbing this. Um, or during the nighttime, I would grab this. It's such an easy wear. Like I just throw it on top of anything when I'm just trying to get a very bummy look. I love the coloring. I love the plaid. I love, like again, I'm very particular with the type of um, plaid and the coloring of the plaid and uh, this one uh, caught my eye and uh, um, I had to get it. Like I could just like sleep on it as like a pillow because it's so like f fluffy. Okay, now we are getting into the most exciting part of the video that I'm just so excited to show you guys. It's my Saint Laurent boots. Well, one of them I got for my birthday, I got for myself. Um, and then the other ones, I don't even remember why I got it. I think I just got it just because. I think I just like rewarded myself for surviving quarantine for this song. So I'm like, you know what, F it. I'm gonna buy more Saint Laurent boots. If I was a brand, I would be Saint Laurent. They're just so classy, so chic, um, so edgy at the same time. If I was to describe the style that I want to portray, it would be all of that that I just described. Okay, so moving on into the boots. So I don't know which boots are in these, but we'll see together and I'll try to describe it as best as I can. But I've like been wearing these, so it's like not even that exciting to me anymore. Um, okay, so these are the Wyatt Harness boots. These are really cool because they have like a little buckle on the side and they zip up, which is awesome. I love, first of all, I love that Saint Laurent boots are they like cinch like on your ankle area and i feel like i've explained this before in my other video but in comparison to like i've worn like all types of boots from different brands before from like h&m and zara the difference is the ankle like diameter is smaller in more luxury brands specifically saint laurent um whereas H&M and Zara and the more fast fashion brands, their ankle, like, it flares out, so it's, I don't know, it's just like a, it's a wider ankle, and it just doesn't look as nice or as expensive. Um, but these, they just, like, cinch your ankle, so it looks just so slimming on your leg and makes your leg look even slimmer, which is obviously really good. Um, and it is even better for these types of boots that there's a zipper, so I love that. Okay, boot number two are these. Ooh, okay, I love these. These are, um, what are these names? Um, are these Wyatts too? I feel like they're all Wyatts. I feel like they're all Wyatts except the Joe de Pur. Like the Joe de Pur's are, yeah, these are the Wyatt Chelsea's. Such a, oh shit, oh f So these are, the Wyatt Chelsea's, these are just an exquisite color. I love, I feel like these were called like the cigarette, the cigarette color, could be wrong, but I love the like tan, tannish, beige-ish um, color to these. I think it's such a rich color. And uh, I mean, what more can I say about it? It's such a exquisite boot. Sole color also, like it's a very, it's like wood like woodish and yeah, I love it. These I wear a lot too, um, but with like certain outfits. So if I was like wearing a white shirt, black jeans, and then I would wear like these brown boots to like sort of offset my mundane colored outfit. So just if you're wondering how I would normally wear these. My last pair that I bought, these are also the Wyatts, but they're in black. And, uh, well, I didn't say it in the other boots. The other boots, they were suede. These are just like a regular, like leather and just your typical black um, boot, which I feel like it's one of those, I, I got this because I wanted something like a staple boot. And this is like a staple boot, where, which is like you can, which goes with everything. Like you can wear it for like a nice dinner, but then you could also like wear it down to like, I don't know, run errands or something. Um, I mean, they have like different heel sizes or heel heights. And I wanted to get the one that was like, 
like medium. I think they have like a shorter one, but I got like a medium height. I didn't want to get too high because then that would have been like a little bit crazier. So this is like a good height where it's like not too high, but not too low. Honestly, I don't know. I think this is like, this might be the shortest height actually. But um, yeah, like this is such a staple boot that I feel like every guy needs in their wardrobe. Just a basic black boot. I think that's um, all the things that I've pretty much accumulated over these past few months. Let me know um, if you guys like this video, if you guys have any more questions about what I bought, about like sizing wise and all that, please shoot me a DM. Shoot me a DM if you just like want to talk or, you know, get to know each other. I just like love talking to you guys, obviously. Um, but yeah, like, subscribe if you like this video. Um, room tour video coming up soon. You know, I don't know if you guys would want that. Would you guys want that? Um, I, I want to do one, like, doing my whole boot collection too. I have like a whole bunch of video ide ideas that I want to do. I just, I need, like, need to actually do it. I hope you guys like this video and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys.